welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this Thanksgiving bronzy glam eyeshadow tutorial. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not doing the skin because nothing has really changed. Everything is still the same. I'll link a video here for you guys that I recently just did, which showed you guys my technique. I will say this though, that I've been loving and obsessed over this Alamad brush. This is the complexion brush and I've been using this to apply my foundation lately and let me tell you guys I don't know what it is but I haven't used a beauty blender um, to do my, my foundation I still use it to do my concealer but this has made my skin look absolutely flawless after I've applied um, foundation with it I don't know what it is, but I don't think I can go back to applying my foundation with a makeup sponge anymore, to be honest, unless something else comes out. <laughs> I don't know if it's also the Anastasia powder as well, because I've been baking with this recently too. Um, and my concealer, you guys, this concealer is so freaking bomb. It is full coverage. It's the Matte Velvet Skin by Makeup Forever. Um, in the shade 2.4 um, and for the foundation for today I did mix two foundations which was the dose of colors meet your hue in the shade 112 light and then we have the warm the shade warm beige from the Too Faced born this way matte foundation these two are seriously heaven in a bottle <laughs> well I don't know if maybe it's just all of these things all in one but I've been loving the way my complexion and my foundation has been coming out. I don't know. I just really wanted to share that with you guys before we got started with today's video. I know Thanksgiving is coming up really quick, so I really wanted to get this video out for you guys if you are going to be doing anything. I mean, I don't know. Here at my house, it's just going to be me and my husband and the girls, the dogs. So we're just going to spend Thanksgiving together. We're going to try to cook our own meal. So pray to Jesus that that goes really well. <laughs> Um, and I still want to do my makeup for Thanksgiving, even though we're just gonna stay home and chill. Um, so I really wanted to do this glam makeup look for you guys. I felt like doing something bronzy, of course, but like I always do bronzy looks, but I just love them so much. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you love bronzy looks. Um, they're just so easy and they just look so bomb. Um, it's like you tried, but you didn't really, really try, you know? I don't know. I just... I'm obsessed with bronzy looks. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up because this intro is probably like three minutes long. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I need to get better at that. I uh, just like talking to you guys. Um, so before we do get started, do not forget to like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe. And as always, all the products that I did use in today's video will be all listed down below. If I do forget anything, please, you know, reach out to me, wave at me, I don't know, <laughs> down in the comments and let me know and I will answer that for you guys. So yeah. Hi guys, I'm here with some translucent powder because I already did my base. <laughs> so I'm going to go into the Master Mattes palette by Mario and I'm using my Morphe M433 and what we're going to do is place this as our transition shade and we're going to place it right in the crease and then move it back and forth. So basically just work the eyeshadow that we already have on our brush um, until we have no more product um, and then we pick up some more and just perfect it. Um, for me, it's really important to have a transition color um, just because, you know, we can work our way up with darker shades and it's just an easier transition um, and it makes our lives easier. <laughs> so now I'm going to go into this darker brown shade and we're going to do the exact same thing because we want to darken it up. The transition color is normally a lighter shade. Um, so now we're going to go in and darken it up a little bit more with a darker eyeshadow and applying it the same place where we were um where we placed the transition shade this is going to go in the crease and then in the inner and outer corner and same thing just kind of work whatever we have on the brush um, and of course going back to the eyeshadow if you need to pick up some more product um, so going, um, moving on to the next eye, um, doing the exact same thing um, and darken it up to our liking. You don't have to go as dark as I am, but when it comes to bronzy looks, I really like the base to look darker because once we go in with the shimmer eyeshadow, it kind of like neutralizes it and it makes it less dark, if that makes sense. Next, going into my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. It's just a nice black um, eyeliner or eye pencil and we're going to tie line our eyes and then switching palettes I'm going to go into the Emerizian collab with 
um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and we're gonna place this in the center of the eyes. And then with whatever we have left of this MAC brush, we'll start to disperse it towards the inner and outer corner. Um, so this really gives it a really nice bronzy look, and I absolutely love this particular eyeshadow shade from this palette because it really, it's really, really bronzy. It's nice and shimmery without it being glittery, um, and I just feel like it's perfect for a Thanksgiving glam. <laughs> going back to the um, Perversion pencil, and what we're going to do is place it on top, and we're going to smudge it out with this pencil brush. Don't worry, all the brushes will be listed down below for you guys. I just don't have them with me right here to tell you which ones I'm using, but they're pretty much all the same brushes. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and just, you know, um, blend out that eyeliner, and then going back into the Master Mattes palette, picking up this dark brown shade to soften it up a little bit more and make it less harsh and more on the bronzier side and of course doing the exact same thing on the other eye because we want to make them look like twins <laughs> um then i'm going to be going into this cara beauty um eyeshadow and i forgot the name of it but i'll link it down below for you guys i'm still using the same mac 239 brush and we're going to place it right in the center only um this is really going to give it another extra pop um, next, I'm going to go into this Milk Waterproof Mascara. Uh, I've been loving this mascara, actually, you guys. It's really good, and it actually is waterproof. Um, it really stays on, I feel like, forever. <laughs> and then I'm going to slap on some lashes. Um, you can rock whatever lashes that you want. I'm going in with a more fuller size. Um, and then going back to that same Cara Beauty um, eyeshadow, we're going to place this in the inner corners. Um, going into another Urban Decay um, eye pencil. This one's more on the bronzier side. I forgot the name, but I will link it down below for you guys. Um, and then to blend that out, I'm going to go into the darker brown in that pencil brush. And if you guys hear any knocking, it's my neighbor upstairs. We make, me and my husband make jokes all the time. And we're like, I think she's building an extra room up there. Because literally, todos los días, she's banging on the walls. I don't know what the hell she's doing up there. But just in case, if you hear this in this... In case you hear it in this video <laughs> going into the brightening pencil by makeup by mario we're going to place this in the waterline to make the eye appear more open you can definitely go in there with a the brown liner that we were using or the black whatever you prefer um, and then of course going in with the same milk um, cosmetics um, waterproof mascara towards the bottom lashes all right, honeys, and that is it for today's eyeshadow tutorial on this bronzy thanksgiving glam look what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know down in the comments. If you do recreate this or you felt inspired, please tag me on Instagram. You know that I love to see your recreations or if I inspired you to be bronzy on Thanksgiving. <laughs> also, I wanted to show you guys or share this with you. I've been watching this girl named Kendall Ray. Um, so that's why I did a voiceover today because I've been low-key really obsessed with her videos. I'm a huge fan of crime videos. I know that might sound kind of weird, but I love watching Forensic Files or any type of like murder, like TV shows. I like to investigate and I just, I don't know, I'm weird. I, I think if I wasn't into makeup or wasn't into any of this, I definitely would be like a crime investigator. I'm just obsessed. <laughs> so there's this girl on YouTube and I've been watching or binge watching her videos on YouTube. Um, again, her name is Kendall Ray and she talks about like murder cases um, and she's just really good like at explaining them. I, it kind of feels like we're like, you know, it's just like two, you're, you're listening to your best friend telling you a story. Like she's just so good at like, I don't know, you'll see if you, if you watched her videos or if you're interested um, in watching her videos and you like crime stuff or murder stuff. Um, she's awesome to watch. I absolutely love watching her. So I did a voiceover. I'm sorry <laughs> um, that I did one, but I've just been so obsessed with watching her videos. Uh, so definitely check her out. I'll link her Instagram down below in the description box. And the cases are about like people that I think you might have heard like in um, 2020. Um, so like shows like that, I think she gets really into them. And yeah, I just have been really obsessed with her channel lately. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you guys. If you are bored watching anything on Netflix, because lately Netflix has been pretty boring. I haven't found anything that I'm like obsessed. I feel like I've watched everything already. <laughs> um, or if you guys know of any crime show that you think I will like, please comment down below. Um, any murder cases, shows, and let me know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's something fun about me. If you guys didn't know that, I 
like when I'm cleaning my room or I'm doing makeup tutorial where I don't have to speak, I will literally watch crime shows like that. Um, I've always been into them actually. My mom has been really into them as well. It's really sad. A lot of these stories are so sad. I can't believe people actually kill people. Like it just blows my mind on how people, they do what they do. It's really, really sad. Um, but I just find these shows pretty interesting. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna have more videos coming out before Thanksgiving, but I really wanted to take this video out for you guys um, and give you a few weeks of practice. If you don't know how to do bronzy eyeshadows, definitely replay this video. Um, and remember, it's makeup. You can just wipe it off and start all over again. Um, los quiero mucho. Thank you again for um, showing me so much love and support here on my channel. You guys are seriously my favorites. You guys have been showing me so much love on my social media. Um, and I just can't thank you guys enough. I love you guys so much. Besitos, cuídense mucho, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.